Simple. By the grace of God. It's J J, J Mikey. to the percussion. They are wondering what I'm doing. They are toms. Reverbed toms. But then playing one tom might not sound. It's just... So rather than playing one tone, we double it and make it feel like the person is holding two uh, of those sticks on it, on toms in a large hop. So instead of just we play, and you try not to slap them at the same time, you leave a tiny bit of gap. So it's like slamming. Yeah, instead of but that's, that's the name. That's the name. Flam. Right? Flam. Yeah. Abraham said it's called flamming. In case it's not right, I didn't say. It. <laughs> So turn the camera to your face, so you see that. He said it's called what? Flamin. Flamin. Plim, plim. So yeah, flamin. So I'm adjusting the sounds to make sure it's in my... But I can't just quantize this one. Because of the flamin uh, loop of a percussion. It has been quantized. So I'm trying to put you on that. It's just subtle. Add um, like a tambourine, simple tambourine, to to give it to replace our original metronome. Instead of using a metronome, we're going to use tambourine. Pizzicato. It gives that cello more umph. Mm. You know, so you have more going on. I don't have to explain all the musical terms. Yeah, musical genius is behind the camera, so we'll be telling you the name to call it. Sound to your liking, your liking. Yeah. Does it does it suit your status quo of musical uh, tickle? <laughs> so we can now duplicate it again. Duplicate the octaves. Place one of the octave, one of the low octave to give it more and more oomph again. So mm. Change the transpose to plus twelve. If plus twelve doesn't work, then we'll do minus twelve and see the low octave will work. Now add so we can get a brass type of sound. 
So, we take this and duplicate. Not duplicate yet, but place. You stack it on. Let me say you stack it on top of each other. It's nicer when it sounds like this have like three or four parts. Layers. That's three or four singers. Okay. But this is three now, so I want to do one more. Then we now part it. After parting it, then we. Because sometimes if you want to do a chant and you're doing a chant in an unmixed sound, it's kind, of, it's kind of distracting. So you need to have at least a good ambience for you to do this. So I'm just going to quickly work on this and then we'll get back to the chant. Okay.